Happy New Year, beautiful people. So it is currently the 1st of January today. I can't believe that we're in 2021. We can finally let go and say goodbye to the 2020 that we've just had and say hello to 2021, welcome the new year. Hopefully, fingers crossed, manifesting into the universe, this year, 2021, will be a much better, happier, healthier year for us all. I think we all need it after the last year. Of course, 2021 will come with all of its challenges and obstacles, but I just hope that overall this year, there's gonna be a lot more love, a lot more joy, and a lot more hope. So I actually filmed this entire video a couple of days ago. After I filmed it, I decided, you know what? To start off the Jamie Dear 2021 content, I wanted to start off with this video, just because I feel like it's a really good way to just manifest the dreams and the aspirations I have for this channel and for different parts of my life, as you will see in the video. That's why I've just decided to refilm this introduction before we get straight on into the resolutions. I just wanted to say Happy New Year and I hope everyone has a great 2021 and enjoys the content that I'm so, so excited to give you guys this year. And hopefully you guys can set some of your own goals as you're watching this because let's get goal setting, let's get smashing those resolutions and let's spend 2021 smashing our goals. Enjoy the video, guys. So as you will have seen by the title in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys, basically having a very chill, relaxed New Year's chat about my dreams, my aspirations, my hopes for 2021, and the goals that I'm gonna be setting myself for the new year. I absolutely love when a new year starts because I just feel like it's a perfect time to just reflect on the year that you've had and just really realize what you want moving forward and things that you want to change moving forward. Now 2021 is here. I just really want to focus on me and I've started listening to myself a little bit more and my mind and my body and what I need and want for 2021. I'm hoping this video is somewhat interesting to you guys, allow you guys to kind of reflect on your own 2020 in the past year and how you're going to move forward into 2021. I've got my cup of tea in my nice new Starbucks mug. Let me let me move it around. There you go. My boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. Also, I'm using natural lighting today, so apologies if it's a bit um, bright in my hand and then dark and shaded in my um, face. I just thought it would be nice. I mean, the sun is shining for the first time over the entire Christmas period, so I thought I would make the most out of it and enjoy the sun. And I feel like it's a symbol for how brilliant today's video is gonna go. So over the last few weeks, as we've kind of been drawing to a close in 2020, um, I decided to write down and start noting down any goals and resolutions for the new year that I wanted to achieve. I love to do this every single year, just so it gives me a bit of time to think about what I actually want to achieve in 2021. A year is such a long time and so much can happen in a year and you can achieve anything. And I've split it into different sections and I would 100% recommend this if you feel like maybe you don't have any resolutions, maybe pick apart your life. That's what I like to do. I like to pick apart certain parts in my life and think, you know what? What do I want to achieve within this area of my life? And that could be your financial life. Do you want to save X amount of money? Or if you're in education, maybe you have more kind of education goals. So maybe you want a specific grade in an exam or overall in your degree. For your future, do you want to be in a certain career? Do you want to go into a certain internship? I've split mine into YouTube, Instagram, university, finances, and my future. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is my social media. So as you guys know, um, I've spoken about this a lot before, but as soon as I graduate university, I am going to try my very, very best, fingers crossed, manifesting into the universe um, to run my social media. So that's my Instagram and my YouTube full time. So I can bring you guys the best content to maybe even three times a week when I graduate uni and I have nothing to do but this, which is my favorite thing to do in the whole entire universe. More specifically, um, um, especially with YouTube, I my dream goal, so as you guys know, we've ended 2020 on a high, we've hit 5K, which I just never thought would happen. We only hit 1K a few months ago, and here we are, 4K later with 5K, 
thousand beautiful people. I feel like we can do better than that. I feel like 2021, especially if I go full time, is gonna be the beautiful family year. So I'd love to hit 25K. I don't know if that's like too much, but I feel like the start of the year, you need to set your standards high so you can constantly try your best to work towards it. There's no point dreaming or setting goals which are easy to reach because you may reach them in like the end of January or February and then you'll be like oh well I've hit my goal for 2021 what do I do now alongside that um, obviously with YouTube growth comes financial growth be able to create a stable constant income from YouTube and from Instagram and I'd love to make I don't know if this is possible at all but between 750 and a thousand pounds a month from doing YouTube so that's definitely one of those things which I know is going to fluctuate and will be better some months and worse some months but I just love to create some form of an income on YouTube I have my Instagram as you guys know if you follow me on Instagram my Instagram is more tailored towards lifestyle and fashion as opposed to my YouTube which is basically just any video that I want to film. I would love to hit 10k on Instagram. Now I am nearly at 6k so that's not the biggest jump ever but the thing I'm finding at the moment it is much harder to grow on Instagram and when I do create YouTube videos and content full time and I'm able to make an income out of it that for me is going to be my main kind of focus and my main goal purely because I'm able to make a living out of this whereas on Instagram it's a little bit more harder. It depends on whether brands want to reach out to you and post whereas a video as long as people are watching it you're going to get revenue and money from it i do just want to hit 10k on instagram like it would mean the absolute world if you could go and follow that follow button over on instagram all my links to all of my social platforms and amazon wish list and anything that i'm wearing for example this gorgeous h&m knitwear will be linked in the description box below this is very exciting one thing i do want to achieve in 2021 is to work with asos now i regularly use asos a bit too much my credit card always cries whenever it sees ASOS and maybe even like if I go full time start a TikTok because I do love TikTok so much and I love scrolling on it for hours and it's my favourite place to be and I know that a lot of people do fashion on TikTok and it's very good for men's fashion niches and although I started it back last summer when we were in lockdown it was so hard to maintain so I feel like maybe it's a little bit more feasible if I was to do social media full time because it means that I can focus on creating content on all platforms. So very excitingly I got this as a Christmas present from one of my lovely friends Laura Doyle and it is a social media planner from Typo. It says staying social, a social media planner, journal and reflection tool for social media lovers. Now as you guys know obviously I'm a huge social media lover, I use it all the time and I absolutely love of writing things down. I feel like it's a really good way to manifest what you are trying to put out into the universe. I feel like if you've got it in writing, then you're more likely to achieve it instead of just like thinking it in your head. It's just basically got loads of tips. It's very kind of aesthetic to look at, like how cute is that? It just says do your own thing. This is what the kind of overall planner looks like. So it's a double page spread and it's basically your post planner. So where you're going to be posting your photo, um, the date and time you're going to be posting your photo, the number of likes, comments, saves, reach, new follows, um, captions, hashtags, and reminding yourself that you do have small growths and successes throughout the year. For my university, it's going to be very obvious what I'm going to ask for, but as you know, I'm gonna graduate this year and I just want to graduate with a 2-1. I don't care where it is on that spectrum. Obviously, you guys know that I got a first in my first third year essay, which was the most amazing feeling in the whole wide world. I want to make sure that I'm taking time for myself and not stressing myself out trying to get the top marks or reach the first grades because I've got a lot going on. We're in the middle of a pandemic. If I can't do it, I'm not gonna push myself and stress myself out to get those marks. One thing I do really, really want to achieve is a first in my literature dissertation. My dissertation is actually due in two and a half weeks, which is very daunting, very scary, um, but I'm very excited. I'm just praying because I've put so much work, time, blood, sweat and tears into that eight 
9,000 word essay that it pays off and that I get first. That's like the one dream, but again, that's more of like a short term goal because I'm literally handing it in in a month's time. In regards to my finances, I would love to hit a 10,000 pound goal for savings. So I'm setting myself the goal of 10,000 pounds. I really want to start saving a little bit more, stop splashing out on unnecessary things. And with that, I kind of want to make a more kind of capsule wardrobe. I find that the thing that I spend the most money on is fashion. And and some pieces, for example this, worth the money 100% because I wear it day in, day out, it fits with the rest of my wardrobe, it's brilliant. But I also know that there have been pieces this year which I've bought, spent a lot of money on, and I just haven't worn it as much as I should have, especially given the cost of it. If I cut down on spending on unnecessary items, then it means that I will have more money to put towards savings and towards a house and towards my future. And then my last thing is all about the future. So things which are a little bit more of long-term goals. So one of those things is I would love um, to get a tattoo in 2021. I've wanted one for quite a while. I am terrified of needles and I feel like I'd be terrified of the needle being against my skin. Oh, it just cringes me out. I want a tattoo kind of like here, just on my hip. Um, and I really want it like a semicolon or something like that. Something to do with literature, but also has like meaning and is quite small. I would also like to start finding possible places to live after university. We are going to start looking in the new year for some place to live. We just want to rent at the moment, just to see what it's like living with each other and to move closer to the city, work out where we want our forever home. And also I really want to start looking at creating a brand for myself. Obviously a lot of content creators and YouTubers have their own merch and I don't really want merch. I want more of like my own entrepreneurial brand. I'd love to create like a lifestyle planner. So maybe not something like this all about social media, but more of like a lifestyle planner or like a diary because I am so fussy when it comes to diaries and I'd love to create my own. Obviously it matters where my Instagram and YouTube are at, but you know, we will see, we will see. A boy can dream. And one last thing that I really want to do, these are kind of dreams which I don't know whether they're going to happen or not because of the pandemic, but I'd love to go and see a musical in London with Liam. We've always said that we want to see one together, but obviously the theatres aren't open so when Boris can finally announce that the theatres are open we are heading straight to London and going to watch a musical and also I just want to go on holiday I just want to go on holiday and also I just want to remind you guys before I end this video like there are 24 hours in a day there are 52 weeks there are 365 days this year you can achieve literally anything make sure that you're sleeping well and that you're creating a consistent sleeping pattern i know that definitely helps me make sure that you're drinking lots of water you can actually buy two liter water bottles now from home bargains and bnm bargains and i bought one for my brother and he uses it every single day because it means that he's getting the amount of water intake that he needs for his body to like function to wake up and i am so a huge believer that water helps your skin, helps your mind, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I'm always so excited. Live life for you, don't live your life for anyone else, because at the end of the day, if this year has taught me anything, it's that I don't need to go down the normal route. I don't need to finish school, go to university, finish university, go into a full-time job, and we need to live life with no regrets and live life because you want to do it, not because somebody else has told you to live your life like that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and of course, subscribe down below for more content in 2021. I'm so excited. I will see you in my next video. So, happy new year, beautiful people. Mwah.